Hi everyone, it's Charlie from The Knit Edit and I have a video for you today about brushing mohair. I posted a little video yesterday of me brushing out a panel of mohair knitting and I've never had so many questions and comments and people being confused, people wanting to know more information. So here I am with a little video to explain it clearly for you. Um, so this is a mohair comb. It's a really small, lightweight, portable brush that you can just use to brush out mohair, angora, some alpaca yarns. You should be able to buy this for like two, three pounds in your local craft shop, wool shop. Um, you can order it online. Don't buy things from Amazon. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's got some plastic bristles, some metal bristles, just to catch all those fibers. And this is the result. This is a little swatch that I used as a tester before I brushed out the whole panel. Um, you can see on the back how it looked before, just like normal knitting. And then on the front, that's where it's been brushed out to make it super fluffy and hairy. The brush does the job of catching all those long fibers and brushing them out so that you get that really lovely brushed hairy effect. Um, so I'll just give you a quick run through of how I brush out my mohair. Okay, so here's how you want your mohair to look. And I've just got my comb here. I'm gonna show you on the back panel that I haven't brushed yet, just so you can see how the whole process looks. Um, just hold it kind of firmly at the top and just start going in with your brush. It's just that simple. Um, lots of people were saying like how scared they were, um, that they were worried they were gonna damage their knits. I promise you, you're not gonna do any damage with a little mohair comb like this. Your knits are a lot stronger than they look. They can take a good brushing, can take a beating. So don't be afraid to really get in there and brush them, even if it sounds a little bit scary. Um, you know, you might see a bit like that where the stitch has got caught, just pull it back in and it's fine. It will go away. So just keep going until you've kind of got the fluffiness that you want. Uh, maybe you want to stop after like a little brushing. Maybe you want to go until it's like fully fake fur effect. Um, I won't recommend brushing any synthetic yarns. Don't do any acrylics or, um, you know, cottons, anything that doesn't have like a long fiber like this. It's not going to look uh, <laughs> the way you want it to. It's mostly intended for like animal hairs with like a really long fiber, like a mohair, maybe an alpaca, an angora. Not that anyone really uses angora anymore. Um, so there you have it. Uh, I hope that helped anyone who was like a little bit confused about mohair brushing. And I hope you go out and make some beautiful mohair garments. <laughs>